after this past Saturday's 20th anniversary of 9-11, remembering the deadliest terrorist attack ever on American soil, tonight we look back to December of 2019 when an Enterprise native, Joshua Caleb Watson, was the victim of a lone Saudi terrorist attack at Naval Air Station Pensacola. The outpouring of grief for that young hero will never be forgotten by the Wiregrass community. And earlier today, WDHN's Cody Giles met with the soldier's father who reflected on his son's life and bravery. Cody? Amanda, I learned that his son had a passion to serve in the military from a very young age. An amazing young man. Um, he um, wanted to be a soldier from the time he was five years old. Very motivated, very driven. Caleb just had a way with making friends. Ensign Joshua Caleb Watson, 23, was killed during an active shooter event in December of 2019. He was shot multiple times, but still managed to save lives while wounded. On his way out, he was warning sailors to take cover, active shooter, run, because the entire uh, command, the training command for pilot trainees were coming there for roll call. I and mean, he gave away his position. Which caused the gunman to return and shoot Caleb Watson again. I asked Benjamin Watson, would he still recommend people to join the military, knowing what the possible outcome could be? And even though Watson says his loss never really gets any easier, he would still recommend to join the military and be a part of something bigger than yourself. The military is a good choice. Uh, it, it gives you uh, an opportunity to serve your country in a capacity that nobody really understands unless you've been there. Um, I've seen in my 10 years teaching here in the Wiregrass, I've seen over 50 of my students sign up. You know, all across America, uh, we've paid a price. Uh, Gold Star families have paid a price for freedom. And there are hearts uh, that are aching every night. And it really doesn't seem to matter how long ago it was. The pain is ever present. I met with Benjamin Watson at Johnny Henderson Park and Enterprise, where his son's name is engraved in a plaque to honor him. Thank you, Cody. New at 